Hey everyone, TechnoMan here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you what iCloud is and how to use iCloud on any iPhone or any iOS device that you have with the Apple account. So let's get started. So what is an iCloud account, you might ask? Well, basically, whenever you create an Apple ID account on an iPhone, any iOS device, like iPad, maybe a MacBook, your account comes with this feature called iCloud, basically storage on Apple server so you can save your information on. So as you can see here, I have an Apple ID account here, I'm signed in, and if I go right here, I see that there's the iCloud option. And what happens is with every account you create, you get five gigs of storage that you can use to store your information from your iPhone or any iOS devices. Now what happens is with this is that you can buy more storage as well. As you can see here, I'm using up five gig that's available here. Now you can go ahead and upgrade to a bigger storage if you need like 50 gig, 200 gig, two terabyte or six terabyte and each has another paid subscription. And what basically that will do is save your information, things like your backup, your, your photos that you take, your messages, any of the information that you need right to Apple server and what that does is for you that if you need to move over to another device or switch over to another device and use the same Apple ID account and you signed in you can get all of your information on that device as well that will pull from Apple server or known as iCloud or the Apple's basically server where they serve up or keep your data at. So if you wanted to back up any of your data which most people will be doing, for example, apps using iCloud, right? You're going to come over here. For example, you might want to sync your photos to the cloud so you can have it on other devices. It'll give you an idea of how much storage it's putting in, like how many photos and videos. And it'll give you an idea of syncing, meaning they're syncing together. And then other things you might want to consider, maybe iCloud backups. So if you want to back up things from your phone, like your personal data, you'll turn on backup this iPhone. It'll start backing it up and you'll click on this option to back up your basically information there and you just click on it, it'll back it up and save it for you. And if you don't have enough storage, it's going to say basically your storage is almost full. In that scenario, you'll, you'll have to purchase one of these subscriptions so that you can back it up. Now, this isn't the only way to back up your information. If you don't want to use iCloud, you can also back up your iPhone to your own computer using a free tool known as iTunes or the Finder on the newer MacBook, which we explain in another video. So you can check that out on how to back up all of your data without using iCloud as well. But if you wanted to use iCloud, this is how you would use it. Basically, just come into your Apple ID account, click on it, and then click on iCloud, and then turn on all the, all the data that you want to save for things like photos, messages, notes, all of this. As you can see here, some apps will get saved onto your iCloud account and then you can use it on any device that you like. So that's how you use iCloud on iPhone or any iOS device. I hope this video explanation was helpful for you guys. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips, tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.